Well, good morning, or no, it's afternoon. Good afternoon, friends. It has been a day. I had a very busy class this morning with some of my face-to-face -face customers and then unexpected uh, companies. So again, sorry I'm late, but I better late than never. And I have a great card to share with you today, so I wanted to make sure that I got it done. I want to remind you that today is day nine of my 15 year anniversary celebration. That means I've been with the company Stampin' Up! for 15 years. Uh, that's pretty darn exciting and it's been a real celebration for me because this is a company that fosters creativity and above all people and friendship. And I believe that's what we're doing right here and now. Uh, for 15 years I have run a face-to-face -face business, meaning that I have had classes in my home, I've gone out and done parties and just a variety of ways to meet meet with people. Um, this year, I made it a goal to spend time with people like you online and getting to know all of you better. And so that is the purpose of this 15 year celebration for me. So what my, what my goal is, is to complete 15 days of videos and uh, to let you know a little bit of what I'm about. Now, I'm Fancy Nancy, named that by my grandchildren, which I'm very proud of. Uh, their, their belief is that grandma does everything fancy. Well, perhaps I do, I'm not sure, but I, what I do know is that in my card making skills, I like cards that are fun, that are interesting, um, that have layers, that have texture and dimension and use lots of color. Um, it's hard for me just to do the simple ink to paper, but the truth of the matter is my cards are very basic with few um, extra, with just my extras being those um, embellishments and layers. However, today we are gonna do a different technique just because it's time and we ought to do it. I haven't done that yet in my 15 day celebration. Before I get started, because, <coughs> excuse me, there's so much to do today. I want to remember to remind you that today is the last day to sign up for my online in color class. And let me tell you what that's all about. That is a class in which I uh, create cards for you, but at the same time, we build your collection of the in colors, which we all need to do. And this year's in colors are so wonderful. So what happens is you make a commitment to join me for five months. Each month I will send to you um, a, what I call an in color uh, ensemble. You'll receive a um, stamp pad, uh, the mat, the coordinating paper, the re-inker, and a, a set of Stampin' Blends, uh, the light and dark each, um, and you'll receive that. And then um, in addition to that, you'll also receive a card kit. Uh, the card kit will allow you to make eight cards to each of four different designs. Um, each month, those cards will be built around a certain stamp set. Now, you may already have a stamp set, which is absolutely wonderful, or you may need the stamp set. If you need that stamp set, you want that stamp set, I will offer it to you at an 18% discount. So um, it is a great way to build supplies, to build stamp set, and at the same time also get those in colors that we all want to have this year. Um, the cost is $43 a month, and that's me shipping it directly to your door. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else I've left out here. Uh, if you're interested in, in doing that, you would just uh, bop over to my... Um, website which is www.fancynancystamps.com and there is when you go to or when you go to my blog which is also uh, there for you you would um, see that there's a contact form and you would just let me know you're interested on that contact form and I will contact you and we'll get moving on this wonderful uh, club uh, let's see what else do I have to tell you uh, starting tomorrow, I'll tell you all about my uh, online card club, which works similarly. It's very fun. I can't wait to show it to you. Um, that's coming. Well, so we won't worry about that till tomorrow. So, whew, that was a lot of information very fast. Why don't I start by showing you um, what we're up to today? And um, as I said in my header, I'm going to be talking about Pansy Patch today, and we're just going to have a good time. So let's just tune in right now.
here we go. This is my usual way of preparing for a class. So let's just pull out all of, all of our information here. My card base today is going to be one of my fun colors, the Fresh Freesia. I've cut it to eight and a half uh, by five and a half inches. And I will be folding it in half to make my card base. Of course, I always use my bone folder. Um, as you know, I really want you to make sure that we have professional looking cards. And to do that, we have to have crisp folds. And it just needs to look beautiful. So there's um, our first uh, layer. Whew. And this one does have plenty. The next thing we're going to do is I have taken a piece of bumblebee. Uh, cardstock. This bumblebee cardstock measures five by three and three quarters. So let's go ahead and add that to our card base. Now I would never, and I have to say never, really thought that I would put these two colors together. But they do, given, just give me a minute and you're going to see the method to my madness. They provide, this yellow provides an anchor it's like putting honey with mustard. That's how, that's the best way to put it. Okay, then I have a lovely little piece of designer series paper. This is right from our Pansy um, de designer series paper. And look at the colors that are in this. Immediately you can see that it has my fresh freesia. It has um, the bumblebee that I just laid down here. It has a little touch it looks like of polished pink um, and then it has this coral uh, our clipsal coral so we're going to be playing with that next but look at when I add it what it does to this piece of paper I just think that is awesome together so let's go ahead and add this I'm showing this to you in a portrait mode, but it's really going to be a landscape card, so I better turn it before I get you all confused. The next thing is check it out when I add that pop of Calypso Coral, how the colors just come together. We're going to add this as well. This is uh, number two of the um, scalloped rectangles that comes in our color and contours. Uh, set. Love it, love it, love it. Alrighty, now let's just set this aside for a minute. We'll come back to it. But I want to make, um, and I think I want to put a piece of paper under this so you can really see it better. So let me just grab a piece of paper. So sorry, but I just want to make sure that the view is really clear and there's nothing that kind of changes how this looks. This is a piece of vellum, and really I think I've cut this to five and a half by four and a quarter. It's real simple, but I want to make um, a piece of background paper for this next step, and I am going to use my alcohol markers, and I have picked out my light polished pink and my dark pale papaya. So we're just going to start by doing a little bit of scribbling, which nothing makes me happier than a little few scribbles. I know you're... And then I'm gonna add some pink. There's really no method to my madness. I wanna have, I wanna take up as much of this as I can. All right, and then 
I'm going to whip out this little bowl I have here. And I'm going to use isopropyl alcohol. I have a 99%, which is really good. But if you have at least a 91%, it's perfect. It's going to work great. And I want to do a little alcohol blending. So I'm going to add a little to my bowl here. And whip out my paintbrush. And um, my goal is to get this to blend and be a beautiful background. And at the same time, maintain the integrity of the colors. So I'm just going to start by just adding a little bit of alcohol and watching the magic happen here. I don't want to overdo the alcohol because it does this action. Like I say, it will also dry very fast. And you can see on this side, it's already really taking on a certain look. Okay, well, I, it's not bad. Whoops, got quite a bit there. Might regret that. If I wanted to move any of the, especially like where I have puddles, I can just use a straw. Now, I did get a little more water than I really wanted, so I'm going to go back in and I'm going to add just a little bit more scribbles. And I think I want a little bit more pink over here. That's the fun of this, is you can just keep adding. You don't have to, to get what you want where you want it. Okay, I'm going to set that aside to dry. I'll bring it back and we'll look at it in just a few minutes. But that is looking very nice. So, let's just... Get back to work. So we're also, I, I'm just going to go to work on the back side. And of course, just thinking about what did I do. I'm going to, uh, I, I'm going to put my sentiment on the inside, but I'm also going to do some flowers and some, some, um, and this is what I started with. So I think that's going to be my front. Those will be in the front. Yep. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, I think this is going to be the inside of my card right here. So I'm going to just attach these two quickly. Come on, baby. And I'm going to put this on the inside of the card right about here. And I realized that in all the hurry to get going, I left my sentiment. So hold on. What a fun day. Whew. I am going to use, I believe I'm going to use Calypso Coral because I, I made such a big deal with that one. Even though, hmm, do I really want to? No. Yes. I think I'm going to do a little mixture. I think I'm going to use the Evening Evergreen on the inside. Just because 
I used this polished pink and I didn't want to be doing any clashing or anything. So I think I'll just put that on the inside. Whew, this is going very easy considering this was a fun card today. We did one of these at our class and uh, many of my clients had not yet done, done the alcohol technique and I reminded them that I think we did something similar to this in the olden days because I have been stamping since, I don't know, maybe the early 90s and we did something called polished stone and I think it was very similar to this. <clears throat> Some of the a ladies in the class said, you know, we once did a tech technique notebook. I'm just going to dig it out. I still have it, and I bet it's in there. And I have the feeling that's correct. Because I think we did do something. We were laughing because we were talking about one of the techniques that we did. We actually used smoke. We lit a candle near it, and the smoke from the candle actually colored the card. It made a very spooky um, looking... Uh, card and uh, we, we had so much fun with that okay there we go so let's go back to our background and see if it's dry yet oh it is dry all right and this is going to be backed and I think I'm going to use I think I'm going to use this direction let me check do I like this better? No, I do not. I like this more profound. So, I am going to trim that up right now. And if I remember right, this white piece of paper that I'm going to back it with is two and, let's see, it's, uh, it's nine sixteenths, so um, so let's start with trimming this one at two and nine sixteenths. And for those of you who are wondering, that's one of the one little hash mark past uh, the half mark. So there we are, and it's going to be, I'm sure, three and seven eighths. Yep, yeah, three and seven eighths inch in length. And I want to get the best of this, so I'm going to start here and then. I just like this middle part the best, so just so you know what I'm up to. For those of you who are unfamiliar with our cutter, it has two blades. It has this first blade, which is a cutting blade, and this blade, which is a scoring blade. So I'm just pulled the scoring blade out of the way, and we'll trim that up. And that is all we need to do. And I'm now going to adhere this to... Uh, this white piece of paper. I want to make sure that my ink side is out. I like that look. You could do it either way, but for me, that's I just I love that look of the veins of it being just straight out there. So, and in this case, my white paper goes corner to corner. got a little bit of hanger on her over here so I want to just trim that off to make it exactly the way I like it vellum can be a treat sometimes number one it's hard to see as you're cutting and number two it just doesn't cut the same way as your your um, cardstock does, and I have a little bit of white here, so I'm just going to get that taken care of real quickly. Okay, and I'm going to be putting that right here, but I have a little bit of extra. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure that I have that all the way glued down, so I'm just going to kind of lift it a little bit 
and see if I can't get some. Um, it's moments like this that say, this is why I rubber stamp. I can make a bigger mess. There we go. All right. I have, this is going to have a happy birthday message right in the corner. So this would be a really great time, and I know I brought it here, for me to add it. So... And I'm stamping this message in um, Calypso Coral. There you go. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm going to go ahead and put this on the card. We're almost there, you guys. We're getting there. I always want to make sure my stitching shows all the way around. So I want to make sure I center it within the stitching. Okay, so now we have three flowers to add and we will have accomplished this card. Now I want to talk a minute about this. Th these um, elements were cut directly from the designer series paper. I simply used the framelits. I bet I can even show you how that worked. Um, you can see that these are just cut basically from our um, paper itself works out beautifully and we have one for the leaves as well as the smaller uh, pansy which I know there's another name for it I'm not a pansy I mean I really wasn't familiar with pansies until we got this set which I do have to say I love so I have leaves cut, and I just kind of want to attach them. And then I want to think about how, once I get them, uh, think about how I want to um, arrange them on the card. That's really always the hardest part. And in all honesty, once again, I wish I was a better artist because it's not my strength. But that doesn't mean I don't love it. And these, for me, these leaves look very directional. But I'm just going to, I'm just going to have a tip of it show. So I think it will look just peachy. Oh, that's another set. Another set, another day. We're going to do peaches, peaches before I'm done here. So we're going to come over to our card and say, well, how do we want these? I think I want the I want the um, the yellow and the Clipso Coral to carry the day on this card. So I'm going to tuck the the um, grapey one underneath. So let's just put that down first. just the way I want it. I want it above that happy birthday. And then there we go. And you guys, we have completed a beautiful card. Um, happy birthday. And inside, wishing you a little extra happiness just because you're you. And I can't wait to send this one. I hope that you have a really great day. I will be back tomorrow <laughs> at 10 o'clock. Um, do I expect visitors tomorrow? Hmm. Well, I know I'm getting a package. I already got that notification. And I know that I'm getting a pillow. It's coming in the mail. That'll come. That'll be delivered tomorrow. But the truth of the matter is I'm not expecting any interruptions. And so I just look forward to seeing you at 10 a.m. Pacific uh, uh, Daylight Time. And we are going to have fun tomorrow. So please join me. Don't forget, today's the last day on the um, 
online in color club and please hop over to my uh, blog give me about 10 minutes and everything will be up there all the directions and everything we did today hope you're having a great day i am and i look forward to seeing you again bye now